Hi, it's Superintendent Deidre Raymer with an important update from our school board. After a long and arduous process, our board has decided to add a referendum question to the ballot on April 2nd, 2024. We're asking for your support to add $2 million each year for the next five years. On your taxes, that's going to mean for a house that's valued at $200,000, no more than $8 each year for those five years. With that investment and your continued support, we can do some incredible things on behalf of our students. One of our objectives with those dollars is to enhance our safety measures in our schools. Our schools are safe. We have staff and students who come to school in a safe environment each and every day. But we can always do more when it comes to increasing our opportunities around safety. A large piece of feedback I've gotten from the community since I came here in July was that the traffic mitigation on 15th Street needs to be addressed. We've taken some measures, but these additional dollars will allow us to add a continuous plan out front to make sure that drop off and pickup time can be safe not only in front of our middle school and high school, but do some things to address the safety issues at our elementary schools as well. In addition, we'll be able to add additional cameras and ways to monitor traffic coming in and out of our buildings as well. We have added multiple cameras in the last several years with our general operating budget, but we could use more. And this, these additional dollars will allow us to do that on behalf of our students and our staff. One of the things we know that students rely on for support are staff that are there year after year after year. And recruiting and retaining staff members within any school district has gotten much more challenging with a national teacher shortage and some workforce shortage areas. So we will use these additional dollars to ensure that we can recruit and retain high quality individuals in each one of our school sites, as well as add some technology upgrades. We do a great job at making sure that our students have refreshed devices and our staff have refreshed devices, but all the rest of the technology that goes into our students being prepared to go out into the world and be ready to live life in this world today needs to be enhanced. So we'll use some of the additional dollars to do the technology upgrades as well. And lastly, we'll use some of the dollars to do some enhanced career exploration. We do an excellent job at our high school at having opportunities for students to do youth apprenticeship, for earning college credits during their time in high school, but frequently our elementary and our intermediate families do not always know about the opportunities available to our students. We want our students to have every single opportunity, so we're going to start enhancing what we do for K-12 career exploration at the elementary school by adding some more exposure to students and adding some academic and career planning at the elementary level, then carry that through our middle school and then all the way through our high school so that we know our students are going out into the world with a plan that they really can stand behind and feel passionate about. You may be wondering how a no more than $8 increase on a $200,000 home could possibly pay for all of this. We have a rare opportunity right now with some energy efficiency debt falling off that allows us to maximize that investment to be able to do all the things we want to on behalf of our students. As we know, strong schools create a strong community. In the coming weeks, you're gonna see myself, our director team, as well as our school board out and about in the community. We encourage you to stop and ask us whatever questions you have or check out our website to make sure that you're getting all the information you need to make an informed decision for yourself. We look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks and we look forward to you showing up to vote on April 2nd.